In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we keep our body alive by breathing air, and we need to keep our spirit alive by breathing the faith. And uh, that too, we need to breathe, breathe faith continuously to keep our spirit alive and active. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this great mystery of love, let us recall to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Mary of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. This we ask of you through, O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the third letter of St. John. My friend, you have done faithful work in looking after these brothers, even though they were complete strangers to you. They are a proof to the whole church of your charity, and it would be a very good thing if you could help them on their journey in a way that God would approve. It was entirely for the sake of the name that they set out without depending on the pagans for anything. It is our duty to welcome men of this sort and contribute our share to their work for the truth. The Word of the Lord Responsible Psalm. Happy the man who fears the Lord. Man who fears the Lord. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His sons will powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Happy the man who fears the Lord. Righteous and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. Happy the man who fears the Lord. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honor. The just man will never waver. He will be remembered forever. Be the man who fears the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Accept and submit to the word which has been planted in you and can save your souls. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the need to pray continually and never lose heart. There was a judge in a certain town, he said, who had neither fear, who had neither fear of God nor respect for humans. In the same town, there was a widow who kept on coming to him and saying, I want justice from you against my enemy. For a long, long time he refused, 
But at last he said to himself, Maybe I have neither fear of God nor respect for humans. But since she keeps pestering me, I must give this widow her just rights and she will or she will persist in coming and worrying me to death. And the Lord said, You notice what the unjust judge has to say? Now will not God see justice done to his chosen who cry to him day and night even when he delays to help them? I promise you, he will see ju justice done to them and done speedily. But, the, but when the Son of Man comes, will he find any faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dearly beloved Christ Jesus, in today's Gospel, the Lord is speaking about an unjust judge who delayed to give justice to that poor widow. And uh, the Lord contrasts that uh, judge, unjust judge, with the, uh, the just God. Our God is not like this unjust God. Uh, who will act only when we pester him or keep on worrying him. But rather, God will really act, uh, act on our behalf for justice and peace and love and so on and so forth. At the same time in this, this gospel, the Lord is also telling us in an indirect way that our faith has to be something, uh, has to be uh, something continuous one. You know, we see that in this woman. The woman had been asking for justice to that, uh, that unjust uh, judge for quite a long time. She never gave up. She went on asking. Uh, the Lord seemed to say that we need to pay, pray like her. In other words, the Lord is trying to say that don't give up and let your faith be always alive. You know, very often we uh, keep of faith and continue to pray for some time and when we are not getting the things as we want then we give up our faith fails but here is a woman who remains as the best example that how she kept her faith alive and she went on asking it's not a question of just we keep on asking but rather it's very important is that we need to keep our faith alive this woman never lost her faith and therefore she could continue to ask the as the uh, unjust man. So to, uh, to the extent that we are able to keep our faith alive, that we will be able to continue to pray to God for our needs. The moment we give up you know, praying to God, and it shows that we, our, our level of faith is going down. And we can also say that to the extent that we keep praying, the level of faith also keeps, uh, keeps growing. Uh, let's ask the Lord that we may not at any time lose faith in, in, in God who is just. May God give us peace. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the, the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion and grant that we who celebrate your son's work of boundless charity may through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and our neighbor. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, especially as we commemorate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary on Saturday, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, and gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exaltation. 
exultant praise as we acclaim Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God our host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, as the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give, you give life to all things by and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to your setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus himself took bread and giving thanks, he said to the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and, and drink, drink this cup. cup. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, until, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to your second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for her unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, from wh through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer it the sign of peace. Peace to you. Peace to you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord Lamb Jesus Christ, faith, love, and mercy be to our body, to come to us, come to us, to death, the mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes the wisdom in another world. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy of you, but you only say the word, and I shall be healed. Surely say the word, my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Glorious things are spoken of you, O Virgin Mary, for he who is mighty has done great things for you. Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.